You have reached Dwight's Beach Confession. Good evening, bitches. 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 Hey, I'm gonna fuck who you with, boy. Get the fuck out of my life. We're showing you cunt flowers. Why would you believe any of that? Well, ma'am, the, the gentleman, he, he's the... The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. You need to learn proper masturbation skills. I wish your car was at my lot. I would have to punch you up and some ass. God bless. It's morphin time. Morphin time. Lawsuit time. Ugh. Inappropriate. I'll you know, fucking you! You fucking call you! You fucking call the girl call this number again! We're gonna call a lot. Hello, I see the chick from my fucking head right now and I'll fucking put a knife in your fucking throat. Mmm, fuck yeah. Look, you piece of car does. No, I didn't, bro. Hey, your mom sent the hell out of the medicine truck. Uh, come ride this mom. Gathering around to make a prank call. Wow. Your fucking wife loves it when I check her meter. Yeah. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a Kohler faucet <laughs> shut right up your ass. I just got done blowing my boy Dwight and shit. Well, if you were doing your job, ma'am, and you would, you would walk into that room right now and pull out his pants and start jerking him off and showing him. Oh, you fucking dick. Did you ah. fucking say that to me? You fucking asshole. Keep it down. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Saturday. It's me. and My name is Dwight. I'm here for shows. I'm here for the funnies and uh, all that good shit. So welcome to the extravaganza that is known as the shoe program. And, uh, as always, thank you for stopping by. Good evening, bitches. Uh, no real plans tonight for t uh, the show. Just gonna kind of wing it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it real good. Hope you enjoyed the intro songs. I am currently by myself for the night. Uh, so yeah. Uh, nobody decided to join me. They are all, uh, gaming. They're all playing Rust. They're all being uh, ga girl gamers now. They're girl gamers headed by Mr. Meningitis and uh, XYZ. So fuck them. Fuck them all. We'll ride this bitch solo. Maybe somebody, you know, maybe they stop being a bitch machine. We might get some other people. But until that point, you got your own man Dwight. So make sure to visit over at the Chinese controlled janderdwight.com as well as youtube.com forward slash Dwight the janitor. And as always, if you so feel inclined, you can make the donation, donation, donation machines where apparently Dwight needs some speech impediment classes over at paypal.me, paypal.me forward slash Dwight PCN. So now that that is out of the way, we're going to just start making some calls. We're going to make some goddamn calls. All right. First call is firing away. Oh, listen to those beautiful ringtones. Hello? Yes, hello. Uh, I'm trying to reach Bobby. This is she. Hi, uh, this is uh, Blake over here at United oh. Social Media Division. Saw you'd sent a tweet to us earlier regarding some issues I did. that you're having. I did, and I'm, try and I'm trying to board on an alternate flight. I'm afraid I'm going to have to deal with this in San Francisco. Yes, it was a very unfortunate circumstance. Okay, well, you make sure not to cause a ruckus on this flight, okay? We don't need any more of that. Excuse me? Okay, booby. <laughs> oh, we got disconnected. Wonder what booby's problem is. Oh, we got a little little razzle dazzle out of him. Uh, let's see what's going on over at the show sponsor, uh, Gobi 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 at twitch.tv forward slash Gobi Gobi Gobi. We'll bring the sound up here. This is the first time I've ever seen her uh, uh, stream before. I was in there chatting a little bit while I was grabbing numbers. So let's let's sneak peek in here, see what's going on. Never mind. I didn't. She's blowing fart. So noises. people wa people watch you to get the, like the oh like the yellow thing or the gold. I'm sorry, whatever. At the about, about the knife part, they're like, oh, I'm making a knife. Oh, la 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 la. Yeah. Mm, that's, that's what they want. 
because okay. it's big money. She, she's like opening boxes. Looks like to give away big, big CSGO. money. She acquired How some much lovely gloves money? that are worth two hundred dollars, real American. I don't know. I don't think Steam the Belgian knives are and you can't even wear that high. I'll take all the non-real items. I used to have a live on the show. No, I'm not. Am I? Oh yeah. I used to have a nice live on the show, Toby. You just don't know it. Oh shit. Right, wait, Dwight, are you really doing your show right now? Oh yeah, yeah. You just don't know it. Alex, wait, please. Yeah, Alex is the famous Should I get her shirt off? What? Oh, yeah, he's gonna Alex, try to get Alex. Alex, go to the prank call nation yeah. well, hang and on. see We're if gonna wait they're doing this. a show and see if I'm on it. Okay. Because, no. No, this is just. Maybe they'll this call this you one. live on stream. Dwight just said that I'm telling you. She's on it. I'm telling you. I'm playing a very loud song on my stream though, so. Yep, yeah, you sure are, Gobi. Uh, yep. Call Nation is live on next. Yeah, Thursday come, come on, Alex, speed it along. Alex, speed it along. Tell her she's on the air. Come on. <laughs> you see that, Alex? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex, I'm talking oh, to you, buddy. Okay, all these guns are just super... Alex? I'm gonna give them a... What? <laughs> Dwight is, uh... <laughs> what? Dwight is doing things. I'm not gonna spoil it, please. What do you... <laughs> what do you mean? Do I need to listen to it? Yep. I'm eavesdropping. Oh, the only thing I'm gonna say is that if there's a recording of the current show, you need to go back and listen to it. <laughs> Alex? Why is, why is Gobi <laughs> blushing yes. like that? What's going on? What? All right, we're going to continue the show. We'll grab the next number. Hello. Hello. Yes, trying to reach Aaron. Hello? Yes, I'm trying to reach Aaron. Who is it? Uh, this is Blake. I'm over here at United Social Media Division. Saw you had sent a tweet referencing us uh, just a little earlier. Thought we'd touch base with you about that. What was it? What was the tweet? Uh, it was an incident where uh, we were we accidentally sent a dog on a, another flight, and apparently you thought it was your position to interject yourself uh, in the conversation and the ongoings of us trying to rectify that situation. Wait, yeah. I'm sorry? How did you get this number? Well, sir, we are united. So just take that as that. Now, what do you have to say about the situation that could be helpful? Because otherwise, we don't need your input. Oh, he hung up. Hey. Fucker. Wasn't done. Hello? Hey, how you doing there, buddy? You got the doghouse. Yes. Oh, great. I need the doghouse, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so it's free, right? Yes. Okay, and how many dogs have stayed in this house before? How many bedrooms? Uh, just, just one. Just one bedroom? Okay, yeah. and, and what did the utilities run per month? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? The dog house. Okay. What did the utilities for the dog house run per month? I'm trying to get this ranged out to see if I can afford it. I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, the doghouse, right? We're both on the same page? Okay. Okay. I'm so, giving away so, so a dog far, Yeah, so far we're on the same page. Doghouse, correct? <laughs> well, that's what I call it. Yes, doghouse. Okay. Um, now, when the dogs were staying in this doghouse, you didn't give them collarbone, did you? What's collarbone? Yeah, collarbone. You didn't give that away, did you? You know what? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, how, when can I come get this? Um, sometime today, if you want. Oh, still tonight? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, do you want to meet me somewhere, or you want me to come to the house? How far are you? Huh? It doesn't matter how far I am. I drive. I have a vehicle, and I go. I'm not a stupid, ignorant immigrant who, you know, has to walk everywhere. So, that's no, that's none of your business. Hey, why is he hanging up? All right, let's check in what's going on over here at the Gobi site, because uh, 
Shenanigans are afoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really rude. And what? Nothing, nothing. It's not something that anyone should know about. I'm, I apologize. And his head is gone. Like- Preliminary reports are Gobi may be drinking. We'll break that news later. All right, breaking news, everybody. Gobi may be drunk. We are checking in currently. We are awaiting confirmation. So that's uh. Shut up. We have our correspondent Alex at the scene. Alex, there it is. Alex, there tell us is. what you what you have. Is Gobi drunk or is Gobi there not drunk? Are. Report, right, please. Cool. Whatever. You're gonna just. All right, I'm gonna pee. Okay, apparently well, we're having gonna audio pee. problems. That's we'll check nice back in with Alex in a half hour. Gonna... Hello. Hey, Mike, you got them landscape rocks, buddy. A pardon? You got landscape rocks, right? I do. Oh, great. How many of them you have? Are they all gone? There's still some there? Nope, they're all still sitting here. Someone comes to get them. I have quite a few of them. I'm probably hundred, several hundred dollars worth, actually. Yeah, I want to. Uh, I want to get a bunch of them. I got a project I'm working on. If you have some people are going to come and start scavenging them. Um, the first one here gets them. You want to take them all? You take them all. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple of trucks to come through there, and we're going to get a bunch. You yeah, have, you ever see that? Uh, not- you ever see that movie Pet Cemetery? I have not. You're going to oh. make one of those? Yeah, I'm going to set up the plots with them. You know where we do the markers. Oh. Uh, and then I'm going to become, yeah, well, I'm going to become like the neighborhood, like animal serial killer and I'm going to kill all the stray oh, dogs cool. Sounds and like- then I'm going to bury them and then I'm going to bring them back to life and then they kill. Sounds like a really good plan. These rocks will work for that. These are all magical. Uh, these are magical um, rocks or are these the same these ones are all that magical like if, rocks. if Jack gave me his beans and I gave them to you, you would give me the That's magical right. rocks. That's right. That's right. So trait. the rocks are the ones that are. So the rocks that are here are the ones around the big giant tree that's in the front. Okay. And they're along the planters on the edge. There's some big boulders, but I'm not, those aren't to be touched. But the big boulders don't touch those. Okay. You'll know the difference. Okay, so no no big boulders. No big boulders. The boulders are the ones you couldn't lift by yourself. So if you can't lift it by yourself, it doesn't go. You know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, if, it, if you individually can't lift the rock, it's the wrong rock. But the rest of the rocks along the edge, so I took a picture down the edge of my property, and you see some mm-hmm. rocks along the concrete walk. Right. You see a lot rocks around a planter, and you see rocks around a tree. Those are the rocks. Okay. And there's probably three to five hundred dollars worth of river rocks here. So, okay. So no big, no big boulders. If you. If you None of the big boulders that you see in the picture. Okay, because uh, I, I actually uh, I got a buddy. He's got one of those mini like cat little cat excavator things with the bucket on the front. Yeah. I was just gonna bring that yep. out and just scoop, just start scooping and putting it into the truck. Yeah, you won't be able you won't be able to do that. I can't it, just get the small would, rocks with the scoop. No, because you've got it's too delicate, and there's too many cars around. It's in a tight space. You're just gonna have to throw them up on the truck. Yeah, well, I figured I would just come through the yard with it. You won't be able to get it. You won't be. This is a real small property, and you'll just damage stuff if you well, do no, that. Well, no, no, it's not a big one. It's one of those little small ones. Nope. I'm telling you, the small one won't work. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm you. gonna, I'm gonna try it anyway. And if I, you know, scratch a well, car or something like that, that, you damage. I, yeah, and I'll that, tell him you, you authorized it. You authorized it, and that's it. No. A done deal. You know that? <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? Hello, Mike. Yes, you've already authorized the work, so I don't want to hear no more out of you about this. <laughs> All right, I guess he ain't going to play anymore. Hello. Yeah, how you doing? You got the free wood? Yeah. Yeah, how much of it you got? A lot of it, man. Why don't you speed up and talk a little faster? How much? Excuse me? How much? How much money or how much wood? How much wood? Let's go. Chop, chop. So you need to answer faster. No. So how much of this wood can I get in one lo- <laughs> No. What is your boss carrying? 
Hello. Yeah, you need to speak faster. What, do you got the syndrome or something? What's the matter? Uh, I got guests right now in front of me, but I'm not going to be shy. Listen, you motherfucker. You want to know my address? You want to come over here, motherfucker? You calling me some syndrome, motherfucker? Yeah, you're come a, over here. I'll you're make a you syndrome and a my disease. Dick. You okay. don't say that to me. You don't say that to me at all. Come here, cocksucker. You don't know me. Oh, I know you. I know people like you. You sit there and you advertise free wood all the time, and then when they come to get it, you're like, money needs to exchange hands. Asshole you are. Motherfucker. You, all you had to do was respect me. I got tons of fire, free firewood, you piece of shit. See, Fuck now you, you go. You, you can't go have cussing. any free firewood. You go cussing being Fuck asshole you. again, just like your it's mother. It's black walnut, too. It's yeah, it's your, mother, your mother loves black nut in her. That's where you get it from. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, wouldn't you like Are to you know? Are you serious right now? I tell you, but you're Are being you a fucking right asshole to me. You just okay. want to talk shit um, all day. Okay, my address. Are you ready? I'm fucking ready. I'm all ready all day. Okay. All right. One, five. I wrote, it, I wrote it down. I'm going to put it in the GPS, and then she's going to tell me. Siri's going to tell me exactly how to get there. And when I come there, come I here. take the wood. I take it right in your face, and I say, this is my wood now. Okay. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, well, you're gonna tell, we're going to tell your company when you go back in there and you've got a black eye and your pussy's tucked between your legs. Yeah, you see either that or I'm going to go to jail for fucking putting a bullet in your head, motherfucker. Oh, Come so here, I'm going to cock my fucking Ruger right now. You, che- you here, cock it, cock it. Let me hear you cock it. Yeah, yeah see, right I'll now, talk. You don't even know how to shoot a gun. You're a felon. You don't have a gun, pussy. You ain't nothing. A felon would mean I probably have a gun, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah, not legally you don't because you're a bitch. You ain't got no gun. Le- Let me hear. Why it. would I legally no, want no, a gun? No, no, shut up. Listen. Shut up. No, shut up. If you said I you had, no, shut up. Had a gun. You said you got a gun. Now you fucking start cocking that shit so I can hear it, motherfucker. Come and get it. Yeah, that's come what here, I thought. You're, you're a fucking you lie. You're a lying bitch. Come over here, you oh, I'm coming. I'm getting ready to plug come that in. shit in. I'm gonna come on over. Come here. I'm gonna say hello to your come wife. I'm gonna slide a finger in her pussy. She's gonna enjoy it. She's pregnant, but. Uh, yeah, you want to try? Well, she, you can she try, like and then more. I can fucking chop yeah. your head off. And then she'd tell you, she'd say, "Oh, this is this is his kid. This is his." And then I'd be like, "Ha ha ha!" And I laugh at you. And then you raise my kid for the next eighteen years. What's up? I would love to. Oh, you love to? Oh, you love to? You I would love, love to raise to. my kid. Oh, oh, yeah. you're an ignorant. And how are you gonna raise my kid on them fucking fruit wages? Whatever you, you like. Get the fruit from the field. Sure, I'm. I'm. I'll work really hard and help. You with work whatever really I hard. Can. Did you get fired from yes. the front of the Home Depots? Um, I'm, you know, I'm just working really hard. Oh, you're just to working do whatever really I can to survive. Uh-huh. Yes, and what is that? To living off of the government's titty? What's the what, matter? What, whatever it takes, you know. Yeah, sometimes I do hard labor. You sometimes rob people? Do I whore. Rob people? I whore out. I rob people. You sometimes whore. You whore your wife ass. out. You whore your wife out too. No, I whore myself out. Whore no, myself you, nobody out. takes you. They take your wife. They take her butt, and they they put it in there, and they go. FYI, like what? FYI, I'm not even married, dude. You're not even married. Was it your sister? No. You got pregnant. You got I don't have no fucking. You wife. got her pregnant, so you can stay in the country. You can say, "Oh, I have a kid. Don't separate me. No deportions." Hey, dude, that's how we hillbillies do it, man. Hillbillies, you're Mexican. I'm a fucking you're, white you're trash, motherfucker. You're Hispandex. Why do you say that? Because I can tell. I can smell you through the phone. You you reek of taco meat. You're actually wrong. No, I'm right, 100%. Right. I'm Afghani. I'm Afghani. Oh, here we go, Afghani. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you mad now? Are you mad because none of your relatives can come over? No, we're not Muslim. Oh, sure you are. No, we're not. Why are you lying? We're converted to Lion, Jewish. Lying is going to keep we're you. We're Jewish now. Lying's not going to keep we're you. We're Jewish. You're Jewish. No, no, Trump said it's okay. I can You're stay. Jewish, sir. You don't have a nickel to your name. You're Jewish. Show me your long, crooked nose. Uh, come on down. Show me your crooked nose right now. Come on down, motherfucker. I told you I'm coming right now, you son of a What are you bitch. doing? Why, dude, why, do you want firewood? Or you yes, I want the wood. I want the wood, but you're sitting okay, here being come an asshole. Okay, come and get it. You're being I a you hoarder. You're keeping all the wood. You're like, I'm going to keep the wood. I'm going to put the head out. See, I'm giving it away, but I'm going to keep it because okay, I'm a dude, fucking listen, moron. I'm tired. I got to go. I got to get back to my guest, man. I'll oh, talk to you. to your guest. To your, right. Was it the police? Are they there to inspect your home? Okay, bye. You're on parole? I gotta go. All right, parole? I'm not let gonna me, hang up. Let me talk okay, to your I'm guest. Let me you. talk to your guest. I wanna talk to your guest. No, I'm not gonna talk to Yes, I wanna ask them what your problem is. I wanna, know, I wanna know why you're the disease. Okay. You got the syndrome. Uh, I'm gonna go. This is what I'm gonna do now. You ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
I'm about to download an 800 number. I'm going to have forwarded to my other Boost mobile phone. Uh-huh. I'm going to have the next time you call me, it's going to fucking unblock your phone number. Oh, oh okay? my damn. So, and then uh-huh. I can use that phone number to fucking give it to my PI buddy oh, to fucking shit. track it and find out oh, who the shit. fuck you are. Oh, fuck. Okay? Oh, fuck. Okay, how long is it going to take you to so set that up you, so I know when to call back? Because um, I'm telling you right now, I am about fucking two, about terrified. Two hours. I, two hours to set two that up? Are you well, shitting no, at least me? then I can track you down. I can find out who you are, and then I can call you. Two and wait, you're hours? Crying. Jesus Christ, you got to do some research on the fucking, internet? Why are you bothering me right now? You need to call someone over at Radio know, Shack and get some me advice. over and over again. What, you got a connection at Radio Shack? They're going to get you some equipment or something? What equipment? No, you just get an 800 number, you forward that to the 800, then the 800 to your cell phone, and it unblocks the phone number that you're blocking to call me. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. You didn't know how to do yeah. that? Uh-huh, sure. You didn't know how to do that? Oh, you, you see how okay, fucking terrified I am. And I'll tell you what number you have. Okay, you do that. No, no, I'm not trying to scare you. At least I'll know your number. Then I can call you back and fuck with you. <laughs> then you'll stop calling me. You stupid, dumb motherfucker. Oh, piece of Jesus, shit. Jesus, what plantation did you learn that on? Jesus Christ. That's right. You call me Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, uh, I would like to make the announcement for everyone. Mr. Meningitis has retired from prank calling. Uh, he is now a girl gamer, so he will be doing that from now on. There will be no more Mr. Meningitis shows. He is converted to girl gamer. No more shows for Mr. Meningitis. Uh, he expressed earlier how he wanted to move in with a bunch of men and play Rust all day, every day. He was going to quit his two jobs and just move in with a room full of men. I That's very disturbing in my book. So everybody, no more Mr. Meningitis shows. He has retired. He's done. And I would start questioning his manhood. So all of you go ahead and start doing that. Start questioning his manhood. All right, we're checking in live at the scene. We're trying to get Uh, info. Goldie is drunk. I was just kidding. Uh, XYZ, you are a goddamn liar. You're just like playing with a rusty trombone. Rusty trombone, everybody. That's amazing. So you trombone, they go. I'll give you a knife if you do like that. Like that. That's that's the rusty trombone. I don't Just need like your that. knives. I got my own. Well, I, was, I have like a, like a butter knife. Actually, I have a, a gun. Apparently, I have a twenty-two. We're trying to get a report over here. And a trunk of lamps. <laughs> read the read the read the question from the room. Let's go. <gasps> do I? What kind of stream is it? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, Alex. confirmed. Will you please go to uh, the Dwight show and make sure that like I'm literally not on it? <laughs> oh, she's trying to confirm. Oh, this could Wait. be good. We're, hang right, on. we're, gonna, we're gonna hang on here I for a second. I'm not. I, I don't want. I'm. I am. Yeah. No, she's drunk. I think I'd be on the Dwight show. I'm not doing crazy. Hello. Hey, how you doing there? You got the free shit? Yeah, we do. All right, great. Uh, how much of it you got? We got uh, as much as you as much as you need. All right. Well, I'm trying to uh, get my compost heap going, so I'm gonna need. Uh, it's a pretty big heap. Uh, you got like ten yards of it. Yeah, we got we got yeah plenty. Um, oh. We deliver. If you want us to deliver, we can deliver. Um, seven, seven and a half yards in a big 14 foot dump trailer at oh. a time. So if you want two trailer loads or if you want to pick it up, it's free. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll just pick it up. Uh, I might have to do like a couple pickup trucks full or something, but I can, uh, yeah. I can do that. Um, okay. like if I tell you what the actual use for it is, like you guys wouldn't rat me out if like, say the cops came to you, would you? No, of course not. We don't care what you I, do well, with it. My neighbor, their dog keeps coming in my yard, and they keep uh-huh. trying. They keeps ripping up my uh, garden over there. It keeps just ripping up everything, and it keeps digging over by my fence, making holes. So then raccoons uh-huh. keep getting in through over here. And I've told him, you know, so many times. I said, you know, you need to keep your dog under control. I told him, you know, maybe even put some, you know, uh, two by fours down by the bottom of the fence so it can't dig. And uh, right. they just don't listen. Like they just, they just sit there and tell me. You know, it's it's the dog's right to roam free and to not no. be contained. You know, one of those type of things. And so, yeah. um, 
I'm gonna just just randomly I'm just gonna take just fucking scoops of the manure and I'm just gonna throw it right on their front fucking step. And you know when yeah. they they ask me about it, I'm gonna play dumb. But they ever catch me, I'm gonna tell them that you know the manure it should be free, it should not be contained, it should be able to roam. It's natural. And I'll see what they fucking say about that, you know. But you know if if the cops come, you know I didn't get the manure from you. Uh, you didn't sell it to me. It's just you know manure showed up. Yeah, no, it's no big. It's just earth material. Oh, it could have blown on their board. I just you know, thought of something. If I pay you guys, uh, what's the delivery fee? Where are you located? Uh, shit. I'm only like five miles away. Oh, you're I did, I, yeah, I did the the I did the maps, the maps, and it uh-huh. says it was like four point six miles. Oh, okay, you're pretty close then. Yeah. Yeah. Could I pay you just to dump the trailer load in her in her driveway? No, I can't do that. Well, no, no, no do do it, and then and then I'll tell them. Just I'll tell them I gave you the wrong the wrong address, and then I'll I'll just no, tell them I'll just tell them I'm, I'll clean it up, and then I'll just take my no, time we, cleaning it up. Because they got this no, real real nice yeah they got this real real perfect. nice convertible thing, and I would love to have it blocked in by like just big pile of shit like you couldn't even get it out. <laughs> Like I yeah, mean, I for you. days, like it just sits there, and then when I go to clean it up, or maybe even the wind, the wind carries some of the shit inside of the convertible. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> this is pretty. This is like mulch, though. It's really nice stuff. They might actually be thankful to you and actually start using it in their garden. It's really not. It's all dried. It's all dried like mulch, like real nice compost. Yeah, but does it smell? Not, does it smell real bad? No, no. <sighs> when it's dried and. When it's dried up, like the mulch, it just has a good smell. It doesn't smell bad or anything. Oh, it smells good. It's not. It's not going to do yeah. what you think it's going to do. They might actually thank you for it. Yeah, <laughs> use it. I don't want if them I doing, use it in their garden. I don't want them doing that because I want them to move. You know, they yeah. they want them to sell the house. I rent next door, but I fear I figure my rights are more prevalent than theirs. I mean, they 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 just it's own dry. the house. They've been here for fifteen dry, years, but dry, what, what does that matter? It's just good for the plants and stuff. You know, it's good, good mulch and good uh, fertilizer for the for plants or gardens or your lawn or whatever. But if you put too much, won't it like kill the? Won't it kill the lawn? If you yeah, if you dump too much in one pile, yeah, it'll burn. Yeah, like kind of piles. It, on, oh, that's a thing. It holds the holds the heat, but the this stuff's already dried out and like real rich kind of soil, so it doesn't really So you really should hurt wet it lawn. down. Wet it down then. And then it would yeah, smell. Yeah, it, it holds water like a sponge, but it doesn't really burn or hurt. It just new plants and lawn and is it fl- really is it flammable? It, it was wet and acidy. If it was like fresh horse manure, if it was like fresh manure, it would be acidy and kind of then it would burn the lawn and stuff. But we we dry it out and and for, you know it, it's aged like three or four months before people pick it up. So it's pretty yeah. good stuff. It's not flammable. No, it's not Fuck. flammable. Fuck, man, this just, a, this just isn't working. Like, even if it was yeah. wood chips, at least that's flammable. Yeah, uh, wood chips don't really burn that well. Either. Uh, when dirt. they're soaked in gasoline, they do, trust me. Well, yeah, if you do that, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let, you know, if you want to come pick some up, let me know. You can come by. All right, I'll, I'll let you know, because i got to go see this lady about a cat. Okay. All she's right, a, we'll talk to you later. She's a crazy drunk cat lady. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. See you later, sweetie. Bye. Bye. Hey, is that Big Tony? Hello? Yeah, is that Tony? Who's guys speaking? Yeah, well, I was calling about the uh, firewood. Say that again? I was calling about the firewood. Oh, yeah. They already took the firewood. I'm sorry. Oh, then why is the ad still up, motherfucker? You answer me that? Oh, come on, Tony. I was going to go another route, which is about to happen once this phone call connects to him. Hello? Yeah, and tell your kid to shut the fuck up, too, while you're on the phone. How about some of that, too? Got me? Shut the fuck up. Or what? Oh, Tony, Tony, you got one more call coming. Here it comes. Stop fucking calling my phone. Yeah, or what? What's going to happen now, Tony? Anthony? What's the matter? Dude, 
Why are you calling me? Why are I you called you about fire firewood, but you pulled a bait and, and I switch. I told you the fucking firewood was fucking gone. You pulled Shut a bait and switch, up, you son of a me. bitch, you fucking bastard, you. Dumb. If, I, if I was there, oh my god. You do fuck what? You sit there and cry? You fucking fall on the floor and you cry in front of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's the matter, Anthony? Oh my God. Where's the Dude, wood at? Have a nice day. You want to hey, fight? Nice day, you want to fight, motherfucker? Have a nice day. You want to fight? Have a nice day. I'll fight you. I'll, you buy, you, I'll buy you some you, wood. I'll buy you some wood to good. replenish it. You beat me. You beat me, I'll give you more wood that you can you sell. Need, you need to get a life. Oh, I got a life, and it was called collecting Please. wood, and I did whittling. I whittled little projects, Please. but you don't have the wood because you're a lying son of a bitch. You need help, bro. I do need help. I need, need help getting of- the wood because you're a liar. You lied to me. God bless you, bro. I want to fist fight you in the Walmart parking lot. You show up now or you're a pussy. Just like that kid. God bless you. God bless you, bro. God bless you. No, Satan bless you. I didn't sneeze, motherfucker. You don't say God bless me. I say Satan bless you. It's easy. It's easy to talk on the phone. I I challenge you. I say where you fighting. I say where you want to meet. Where you want to go. Well, what what Walmart you want to be at? It don't matter. You pick it. I'll be there. I'll be there with the cart, and I'll be smiling. No, you pick. I'll be smiling with the cart. If you're so tough, why don't you pick the Walmart? You pick it, sweetie. I want you to be comfortable. That's what I thought, bro. Yeah, I want you to be nice and comfortable. I don't want you to be shaky. I don't want you have no excuses. You sound like a little loser. You sound like a little loser. I don't want you have no excuses there, Tony, honey, baby. And then you're gonna call nine one one. Yeah, let me talk and to your girlfriend be, or your wife. I think she's I, a little bit tougher then, than you. What, she got the kid I'm right now. Sit, then I'm gonna be sitting in the fucking twin towers because I punched you in the fucking mouth. You're gonna be sitting in the twin towers, huh? What do you think this yeah, is, Harry Potter? What, what the mouth. fuck is your problem? Because you're a fucking faggy. That's why. Yeah, l- listen. I beat the fuck out of you in front of your wife or girlfriend. We do that. Oh, and she damn. sucks my dick. All that's right. my victory. Since you have no wood. Okay. Okay. Okay, we do that. Have a nice day, bro. No, fuck you. Have a nice you're a day. pussy. You hang up the have phone. A you're a nice pussy. Day. Right here, about to prove have you're a, a nice pussy. Day, bro. Go ahead, pussy. Hang up the phone. Oh, there he went. Pussy. Proved it. Hello? Yeah, looking for George. This is George. Hey, George. So, uh, what day do I start coming down to start cooking the food at the restaurant? Are you a cook or what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you already hired me. I just need to know what day to start. What do you mean I hire you? When? Uh, you hired me on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, we talked. We talked for about 45 minutes. Uh, we went over the requirements, and then you told me uh, to go ahead and come on in uh, next week, but you never told me what day. You said for me to call, and you would tell me. You came in the restaurant? Yeah, no, came, I, in, came in restaurant, did interview, all that. You told me it was gl- you told me it was glad to meet me. Said I was one of the best people you've I, ever talked I, to. I, do, do you fill up application? Oh yeah, applications. Uh, I filled it out. You said A plus application filler router, and uh, you said work. Work is where it begins. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Today's now Saturday. Yeah, Today's now I, Saturday. I need to know what day next week I start the uh, cooking. My, my friend, I think uh, you went someplace else. What address uh, you go? What address? What do you, What do you mean? What address? What restaurant? What the address? I come, uh, George. You know, you don't remember me. This is Dwight. Because Wednesday, I don't talk to anybody. Yeah, talk, you talk to me. Wednesday, the restaurant was closed, buddy. Yeah, but you had me come in for the for the uh, interviews. Now you drive me crazy. No, you remember I come down to you. Remember? I don't remember. If I remember, I don't. Uh... Yeah, I talked What's to George. Name My name's Dwight. Like I told you, the restaurant was closed Wednesday. Yeah, but you had me come in because you read my uh, application. You said, man, this guy qualified as shit. And you told me come down and do the interview. I'm sorry, but I don't remember. So, well, that's, so what that's fine. Name? That's fine if you don't remember. What day What day this week do I start cooking? Uh, I, I got to see the application. 
You already, we already did the paperwork. I already filled out the, the tax forms, applications, the hiring agreements, everything. You said I start work. I got the uniform. What uniform? I, my I don't uniform. Give my uniform. You told me what to wear, and I went and got it. Don't don't, t- don't tell me I went and bought stuff to so I look uniformed and I spent money and now you're gonna tell me I don't have job. You mean? What do you mean you you spend money by uniform? I went to, I, I went and bought anybody. clothes. I went to buy clothes so that I you say wear this type shirt, wear these type pants, and then I went and got them. I got non-slip shoes. I think uh, yeah. you went someplace else because no, like George, I told you, uh, George, no. I saw you, I talked to you, recognized your voice, I gave you the address, and I told you the day. Now, come on, George. Uh, where's where's the confusion? The rest, uh, listen, my friend, the rest of was closed Wednesday. I don't talk to anybody. I know it was closed, but you had me come in, we sat down and did the interview How? anyway. You don't How tell you me. came in and the rest was closed. Listen, you son of a bitch, you don't tell me no. I'm not trying to tell you no, but no, you uh, just I'm told me you no. what's going on. You just told me no, and I told you yes. Do you understand, or do you, do you hear with an accent too? What's the matter? Because I don't remember. Because the, the place was closed, and I don't know what you're talking about now. Yeah, well, I'm gonna start the cooking then. Oh boy! The old boy is right. So, so what's your name again? I'm gonna check my application because oh, I don't remember. Oh, Jesus Christ, George! My name's Dwight for like the fifth time. Okay. Uh, you want to come tomorrow and we'll talk about it? Yeah, I'll come down tomorrow when, I mean, I don't know what there is to talk. You already gave me the job, and I'm going to start the cooking. But I'm not going to cook the stuff you have on the menu. I disagree with that. That stuff looks disgusting. I'm going to cook Italian food. Gonna cook Italian food. I'm going to cook Italian food. We're going to offer spaghetti only. No hamburgers, no cheeseburgers, no tacos. You hear me? Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. I cannot help you. Okay. You can't help me. Sounds like you All can't right. even operate uh, a phone. Well, you want to cook Italian food and hamburger your stand? <laughs> yeah. So, what are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, my friend. I cannot help you. Well, why can't you help me? Okay. No, it's not okay. Come on. Gotta help me out know. here. Are you joking or I'm you not jo- I don't know I'm not joking. Does it sound like I'm joking? I don't play around about my money. Come on, George. Well, it, you told me now you want to cook Italian uh, food in a hamburger stand. I hear you joking. No. You see, you got to step up your game when you're in that type of neighborhood. You got. They don't want hamburgers. They don't want cheeseburgers. They want Italian food. They want spaghetti. They want breadsticks. Uh, I'm and, sorry, man. I'm uh, busy right now. And, I and then go. They, no, okay. and then they want if me to wanna cook. Come over, they want me to cook a little mess in the over, kitchen. I'm going to cook if, mess in the kitchen if, as well. If you want to come tomorrow, we'll talk about it. Right now, now I'm busy. Okay? Can I ask you one last question before you go? Yeah, ask me. Okay. Okay. Are you banchot? Huh? Are you got a banchot? I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. Well, that mean that means no. If you know banchot, marachot, son of a bitch, owl, that's not you. I don't understand. Okay, yeah, then no. no uh, so you're not one. You're not one of those. Okay, uh, confirmed. Okay, I gotta go by. Where are you going? I'm busy. Okay. Well, busy with what? Okay, I gotta go up this way. Why? What are you busy with? What? Crocky. Let's take a look over there. Oh my god. There seems to be some assholes in a circle jerk in a, a rust server. Let's take a look and see what they're talking about. Tiger Eye, point your uh, flashlight at him. No, hey, you don't point your uh, flashlight British prisoner, at him. trustee. Everybody whisper. 
Where are you? Let's are you sure on the outside? Where are you at? <clears throat> Hello. Oh my God! Who unlocked this? Oh. Don't don't lock don't unlock that. Where are you, Shh. trusty? They can't hear us. <laughs> No, you can't move back to the old one. You gotta stay in there for now. We're gonna get a permanent source of light soon. This sounds Working like on an it. interesting game. Hello. What do you say, fellas? Hello, hello, hello. What, what do you need? Hello. All right, who's that? Oh, Dr. Dr. Punchy's back. Oh, oh hey, Dr. Punchy. Goodness. We have a prison now. <laughs> Welcome hold back. On. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's just I don't know what the hell just happened. Here, there's some fish there. Can you have some chess? What? He wants wow. a chest. I can't believe what's oh, going on. Oh yeah, give him a sleeping he bag wants a, or a bed or He something. wants a large wooden chest. We have there, a chest. There's I a can ton bring up here. Uh, they appear there's to be a ton of them. Okay, bring one. Each okay, we're working on it. There's, there's a, like shitloads of them and that light that he wants under the cactus box. Okay, bring it down oh. here. One of the yes, members. Uh, yeah, Giant, can you bring that down? Because I can't find it. One of the members of my staff is going to bring it down, okay? Don't file a formal grievance yet. Just hold on. Oh, you left a kite there? Okay, what's the kite say? Rocky. Th this is the warden. What do you need? It's the rust assholes. Oh no, I think they heard me. Hey, hey, listen, we have a prison set up. Do you want to go in the prison? Do I? Yeah, yeah, you can try it. But we're yeah. on the show. We're in the wilderness trying to look at the elusive rust assholes. Yep, hold on. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> I mean, we we invited you in. Everyone's allowed. I mean. Bubba Chris, yeah? Yeah, I'm looking for Chris. Speaking. Hey, Chris. Uh, you want the deli guy, right? You want someone that can sling them meats? Yeah. Yeah, that's me, man. I handle the meats. I handle the meats quite well. Okay. Uh, I I have a lot of experience, but my experience is mostly with wildlife game. Uh, I've been known to go ahead and like then they bring the boar in. I can slice up some boar. I can butcher boar. I slice them. I put them on the meat slicer. Uh, the same thing with. Um, uh, certain birds, they bring in the birds. We have done an ostrich before, as strange as that sounds. I've butchered an ostrich, and uh, I've, I've made deli meat out of him. And uh, I did that for approximately 10 years. Where did you do that? Uh, I did that over at, uh, it's, uh, his name was Nunu. It's Nunu's Bakery, and slash deli, it was Delicatessence. So he did the bakery side, and then his... Uh, Where was this at? In L.A.? Or? Oh yeah, it's in L.A. We're uh, right down there by the Staples Center. Really? Yep. Yep. Did it for about ten years, and uh, then all of a sudden his his mother got sick, or you know, got ate by a rhino or something. I don't know. He didn't give me clear instructions, but he was closing up business. It's that family emergency. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Do you have a resume? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a resume, and he said he'd give me references, too. Uh, okay. I actually, well, I hope the resume speaks for itself, because I kind of, I dated his sister for a while, and it didn't turn out good, so, you know, we, we didn't leave on the best of terms, but he said, uh, he said he would give me references if it was absolutely How necessary. How long was this place closed down? Clo oh, it just closed, uh, shit, back in February. Huh. Yeah, you never heard of this? We dealt in just exotic animals. Uh, one of the things we were known for is we, we would get monkeys from the rainforest. Yeah, that was a big thing. A big Asian market there. Asians would always come down. They always wanted some of the monkeys. They always wanted the monkey brains, but we, we never got those. Uh, those went straight to the Chinese restaurants. Well, you can send me a resume. Okay, so I fax it over? Can I just drop yeah. it off? Or? You can fax it. We can start by faxing it. Okay, yeah, I got the fax number. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, so what are the hours? Is this a full-time job, part-time job? It depends on, on your experience, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I was running full-time for them over there. 
<clears throat> they never did let me manage the place, though, and that might be because of the, uh, the six years that I did in prison. Uh, they never quite told me, but that's what I suspected. Well, send everything to me. Yeah. Now, you believe I only did six years for a, for a murder? I actually, I'm pretty sure that's where I learned how to butcher really well, because uh, I cut a guy up. Okay. And I ate him. Well, hopefully you yeah. won't get too much of that here. You probably have a few other things to eat here, but not yeah. that. Yeah, I, I don't plan on eating any more people. All right. So, yeah, I'll send the resume in, and uh, we'll get that taken care of. And uh, you guys don't handle sloths, do you? Because those are really tasty. The bone, the bone marrow in those things, delicious. Well, and they got they got the they got the penis of a rhinoceros. They don't tell you that small animal, huge penis. Okay, are you having fun? Am I having fun? No, I'm applying yeah. for a job. Job is not job is not fun. Job is work, and that's the motto I live by. I think you're overqualified. I am overqualified. See, I get that all the time. But I'm willing to, uh, you know, take a step back, you know, and even start from the bottom up. Okay, so go ahead and send the resume, and we'll we'll see. Yeah, I what send it. it. I send it. Did you? You have plenty of toner and paper in the fax machine. Let me see. Yeah. Make sure, because I don't want to waste time. What facts? Actually, when were you last employed? February. In February. Yep, that's when it closed. Yeah. We like to have people that have only been unemployed for less than two weeks. Less than two weeks? Well, you're only going to get his spandexes in less than two weeks. They hop from job to job here. I was employed for 10 years. You can tell me I'm not qualified because I've been out since February? Why you got to be an asshole? Huh? Well, it's a good idea. Explain yourself. Have a nice night. No, you explain yourself now because I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the board and I'm going to make complaints. And I want to be very specific about the reason that you denied me. And I'm pretty sure the reason you're denying me is on the color of my skin. I have no, I have no idea what you look like. Right. That's why, that's why you keep asking me about how long ago. How long ago? Where was this at? You were trying to narrow down the region. Hello? Yeah, how you doing? You, you trying to hire for the Asian Grill? Yes? Yes. I would like to work yes, for you, and I would even pay. Uh, what's your name? My name is Dwight. Dwight? Yes. Okay, right now I'm, a, I'm not at the store anymore. Uh-huh. But we can do this. Uh, we can meet tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the morning, and then I'm having the interview tomorrow. Okay, 9 a.m. is a little early. How's 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock? Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be there. What about Monday? Monday. Yeah. Monday, let's say, uh, let's do 6 a.m. Let's do 6 a.m. Monday. 6 a.m. Uh, we can do 9 a.m. Monday. 9. 9. Yes. Okay, we can do 9 a.m. Okay. So, uh, what's your, uh, so I already got your name. Just go ahead and uh, bring a, a copy of your resume. Resume, okay. Now let me ask you this. It does say Asian Grill. Now are there a lot of Asian people that work there? Is that a requirement? No, it's not a requirement. Not a requirement. But is there a lot of Asian people that are working there? Mm, no, we don't, we don't go based on ethnicity. So, 
Because, because I mean, if there was some like if Asian people are coming in there all the time, I would even take a pay cut to work there, than just as a consideration. Because uh, I have an extreme Asian fetish. Asian women, they turn me on, and I would work very much harder for you. Yeah, you will have to come in and fill out an application first, and we don't discriminate based on race. Okay. Based on whites, what? On on race, yes. Yeah. Okay, what about weight? Because I weigh about 600 pounds. No, we don't. We don't discriminate, okay? Just come in, and then we're an equal opportunity uh, franchise. Okay, and so this is for... Okay. What position is this for? Is this for grilling? Am I going to be... Team member. A, this is for team what member. Is, what is all team, team member? Do, yeah, all team members do grill, cooking, dishes, sweeping, mopping... Cashier. Oh, let me tell you, I know how to mop really well. I've had a lot okay. of experience back when I was in jail. I was a trustee. Okay. I was a trustee. Yep, I right, went then. to I went to I went to Rust Prison, and I was a trustee, and I had a mop, and I mopped listen, the floors. Listen. Okay, I'll meet you Monday if you're interested. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Monday. I meet the I meet I meet my parole officer Monday. Can we move it to Tuesday? Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday, nine, you nine, want. Tuesday, whenever I want. Tuesday at nine a.m. Because uh, parole officer, I gotta. Well, shoot, no. Okay, we gotta do it tomorrow. Okay, we gotta do it tomorrow because I gotta to Monday. I gotta tell the parole officer I have a job. Listen, whenever you want, I'll be at the store. I'll meet you at nine. Okay. Well, I said Whichever three. I said want. three o'clock tomorrow. And you said you won't be there. I'm not gonna. Go, I'm not gonna be there tomorrow at three p.m. But you can be there tomorrow at nine if you're interested. Okay, I'll come at nine. Uh, I already. I already called my parole officer. Told him that I have the job. All right. So if they call okay, you, you, you tell them Dwight works for you now. Thank you. Bye bye. You tell them, okay? Hello. Hey, how you doing there, Paisan? I need to speak with Nick. That's me. That's you. Great, fantastic. Just the man I need to speak with. Uh, you're hiring for the cooking, for cooking pizzas, right? Yeah, we already hired him. You already hired him? Yeah. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? I got the ad up on the list. I know. We just hired someone. It's too late. Yeah, then why is the ad still up, motherfucker? I still have my heart I set on... I the fuck out of your I'm, I'm going to sling them up. fucking pizzas whether you like it or not, you son of a bitch. So you better fire that man and hire me. What I can do, are you looking for a male or female so I can send you the uh, pictures individually? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, the I think it's this is going to be the male, the black male. Okay, I'm going to send you the, the picture of the male that I have available. Okay. And, uh, By itself. Because, yeah, because I looked at the picture... And the dog, the puppy, just does not seem uh, very happy in your home. So I need to, I need to get this puppy in and bring it to my family, which is a loving family. And we will. What love, do you we will mean? Love, it doesn't mean happy. <laughs> well, we'll love the puppy, and we won't mistreat it like you and and your children. What? Yeah. See, my <laughs> children have respect for animals, and they will teach the puppy, you know, love and respect, and they will be careful and they will cuddle with it they won't you know yell at it and call it bad dog and they won't scream in its no, ear and hit it with newspapers My, yeah we don't do that we have uh, two teenagers kids that are already grown you know and they don't do that we don't treat bad puppy so yeah. uh, they do, they're fine no, here, but if you're no, looking that's a for lie. a male that's a lie man because I've drove past your house before and I saw these kids out there and they were kicking the puppies no I don't have kids I have two teenagers, and they go to college already. <laughs> those are those are kids. Those are your kids. No, I don't have. No, I don't have any kids. Okay, so here. they're they're not I think your you're kids. Mistaken. But you're paying for their college. No. Well, I'm, uh? Yeah, so you're they're not your uh, kids, but you're paying for their college by running a puppy mill. That's what you're doing, huh? You're running no, a puppy no, mill, no. and then selling for thousands I of dollars. Have I have two teenagers that are going to college right now. Actually, they're not teenagers. They're 19 and 20. But okay, I yeah, don't I, have I remember when home. they stopped calling teenagers, you know, 19-year-olds teenagers. Because, I mean, teen, mm -hmm. teens are not even in the, in the age. So continue, yes. Yeah. 
So one is 19 and the other one is 20. So, yeah, but I don't have any kids around my home that could be, you know, Okay. And how, how long have you been running this puppy mill? I don't have a puppy mill. I have a, uh, let me see. I have, I believe there is the one um, Labrador and two Labradoodles and that's it. And you have you have one that gave gave birth to these uh, puppies, correct? One dog. Yeah, there's one. Okay. Mom, the gay person. How are, how are you sanctioning the rape of this mother dog to all these puppies? I mean, that's what you're doing to her, and you're collecting money off of the dog rape. Are you interested in one of my puppies? Yes or no? Yes, yes, but I need I need to know that these puppies were raised right and were not sexually abused by the father dog, or forced now to. No, you. Why you? Or, no, you listen, no, you are listening. You li- the- Shh, honey, honey, sh- mm-hmm. hang on. I want to yeah. make sure, you know, the puppies, after they were born, they weren't forced into a life of, you know, selling drugs and becoming drug mule dogs and trafficking mm-hmm. in the co- in the cocaina or any of the marijuanas mm-hmm. mehi- or none of that. Mm-hmm. I just want to yeah, make sure yeah. these are good dogs. Uh, these are not drug just, dogs. Uh, you want to make sure how puppies are doing, just come and look and, at them and... If you want one of them, just take them. If you don't like how they, how oh, so I it's, have them, so I take them. So it's so it's free now. No, I don't have to give you thousand dollars. No, it's not. It's not free. Well, you it's said just take. Free. You just said take. Now you're saying thousand yeah, dollars. No, see, you're you're, you're kind yeah, of when I say take, of course, I'm not saying it's gonna be free. Well, I you mean, told me come to on, take. Be logical. Be logical. Come on now. If we were to both go in front of a scientific court, which one of us is going to be found mm-hmm. guilty of ignorance? And I think it, we know the answer. It's going to be you because you're a woman and you have a smaller brain. Oh, really? Yeah, scientific facts coming at you like the speed of light. Oh, she hung up. What's her problem? Oh. Yes, I am trying to reach uh, Carrie. You got you got the gay female cat? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I would like to have uh, have an opportunity to uh, to I don't know, have your gay female cat at my home. Um, can you come and pick her up? Cause I don't, I'm in Rio Del. Yeah, I can I can pick up the gay female cat. You just have to let me know what time works for you. Oh, can somebody come by tonight to get her? Yeah, yeah, we can come by t- yeah. uh, tonight. Yeah, I was asking my husband if it, was, if it would be okay. But yeah, you guys can come by tonight and get her. Okay, and can, can I just ask you a quick question? How did you determine uh-huh. that, that she was gay? Gay? Yeah, the listing says gay female cat. No, it's gray. Oh, oh, I must have misread it. I, I just thought that was interesting. I was like, wow, I've never heard of a cat that's actually been labeled gay before. I'm like, how, how would they know? And so I was just going to call. Yeah. So we're, we're confirming yeah. that the cat is not gay. No, it's gray. Gray. Okay. She's a gray minx. Okay. So if I have, have her around other, because I've got a couple other female cats. So there's not going to be any like inappropriate licking or anything like that going on. No. Okay, great. Just wanted to just wanted to make sure, and uh, that would just that just would have thrown things off, and we would have had a, a whole thing. I would have had to talk to the kids and you know teach them about things that you know I don't think they need to learn at at this, at this age. Yeah, and she's actually not a year and a half. She's actually just over a year old. Just over a year. Okay, great. Yeah, she's just over a year old. All right, great. Uh, so, do, uh, how does she act in a car? Have you ever had her in a car? Do I need to bring a cage? I've never had her in a car. Okay. So, uh, I don't know how she would react. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to bring two cages, because my, uh, my one son, he has, um, <clears throat> he has Tourette's, so he does a little bit of shaking, and, uh, he likes to hold the cage, and I don't I want to put her in the cage and then you know he starts rattling the cage and things like that so i'm gonna bring two i'm gonna put him put her in the cage and let my daughter hold hold the uh, kid the kitten cat 
and because um, we don't we don't want a kitty with a scrambled brain by the time we get home, you know, along with his cussing, his insistent yeah. cussing. So, uh, okay. were you you asking for rehomings? I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, I was asking for twenty five dollar rehoming. Twenty five dollars. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. Um, you, that's much more than that when you go to the uh, you go to the Humane Society, and uh, I actually worked as a volunteer at the Humane Society for a while. So you know, I see how that's all going down. I actually volunteered uh, as one of the people to uh, put kittens down. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was my job. I I they they paid people to do that, but I volunteered my time uh, to put the kittens down. Yeah. I enjoyed that work. So, um, can I, I can I ask your husband? I just pun- punched in the uh, the address. Uh, can I ask him a quick question about directions? Because it looks like uh, there may be construction on the way. Can I ask him a quick question? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hey, man, I, I'm appreciating that you're you're agreeing for us to be able to do this tonight. Uh, I really can't wait. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna come on over and get the cat, uh, and then so so how is this gonna work? Do you get to? Are you gonna watch or do you go? on Carrie first, or do I go in her first? Do you call a hole? Do I call a hole? How does this work? I, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, like, I'm getting the cat, but yeah. the arrangement was set up to I also get to have sex with Carrie also. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> What's the matter? Is this the same douchebag that just fucking called? Yeah, I thought this was a buy one pussy, get one free situation. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll tell you what. How about we meet up and I fuck you in the ass with a fucking brass dildo, you douche. Well, that sounds a little violent. Do you want me to find out where you fucking live, you piece of shit? I'm allergic to brass. Oh, okay. What would you like me to stick in your ass then? Well, preferably nothing. I'll but if it's choose. a deal, if it's a deal breaker to make this mm. happen, uh, oh, it's a big deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. I got a chainsaw I could use. No, what's the smallest option? Chainsaw. No, that's that's too big. That's bigger than the brass dildo. Hello? Hi, is that Tari? Uh, who is this? Oh, I was calling about the ad on Craigslist. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, you, I'm trying to purchase some, uh, babies from, uh, New Zealand. Uh Uh-huh. And, uh, I thought $10 was pretty darn cheap. Uh, so I wanted to jump on this deal and see how many I could get. Well, we are out of town and won't be back in town till Tuesday night, so that we can get you can get until Wednesday. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, we have got um, nine from one litter that we need to get moved out. Oh, so you got quite a few then. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I could probably take. I could probably house five uh, comfortably uh, and be able to feed them and take them to the doctor and get them all checked out because I want to make sure they're healthy before I resell them because I could probably get probably around a thousand to fifteen hundred a pop oh dear <laughs> yeah well the uh, children of New Zealand they're uh, they're uh, they're I don't know quite a commodity they're very rare they don't come out on the market very often so I figure that I could fetch quite a dollar for them Okay, well, um, if you want to give us a call back on Wednesday, then we can set up a time for you to come out and see them. Okay, why well, couldn't just call the babysitter and go see them? Uh, no, no, we don't. We don't do that while we're gone. Okay, and what school do they currently go to? Are they educated? Can they read? Um, 
What are you calling about? Well, your aunt said uh, uh, New Zealand babies. So I wanted to know what age the children range in and if they can read yet. Oh, no. Bunnies. They're bunnies. Oh, no, that's not what the aunt said. They just said New Zealand children. Or, I'm sorry, New Zealand babies. Yeah, New Zealand bunny babies. <laughs> oh, I didn't say bunny. I just said babies. So I'm trying to get the New Zealand baby. Did you pull a bait and switch on me here? <laughs> no, no. New Zealand is a type of rabbit. Okay, well, I was trying to open up a new factory, a slave factory, and I need some employees. Oh, dear. Are you serious? Uh, no, I don't think you have the right person. Uh, uh, no, I want to know what this is. Bait and switch? Like, Craigslist doesn't allow this. Back page, maybe. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Dwight. We're here to finish that last hour of the show. Everybody, make sure again to visit over at genderdwight.com where the Chinese are now uh, getting the state secrets from Dwight as well as youtube.com forward slash Dwight the Gender. And you can make donations over at paypal.me, paypal.me forward slash Dwight PCN where the show goes vroom and then it sputters and, go and then we try to make it go again after we get a push start with some uh, Puerto Ricans. And we had a uh, donation come in from uh, Dust Bernadette. Dust Bernadette made a donation uh, for the for the song. We uh, just blasted down at you, that last song there. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, we'll file that away in the PayPal folder. Joining me currently is the only man that would pick up the phone when the Dwight man would call. That's, uh, that's how my importance level, my VIP status has went down so now, uh, Mr. Carlito has to try to revive me. Actually, I'm gonna go play Rust, I think, so... Ah, fuck no, me. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm, fuck I don't like that game. Yeah, it's a piece of shit game. Yep. But XYZ and, uh... Uh, XYZ and Mr. Menegitis are trying to convince everyone in the world that it is the best game ever. And uh, Mr. Menegitis actually said he was ready to quit his job and move in with everyone that's playing Rust so they could play uh, all day, every day. And uh, so then I questioned his uh, heterosexuality uh, because he wanted to live in basically a group home with a bunch of men uh, and become a boy gamer. <laughs> and so that's the status on him. And I, I uh, declared him retired. He is no longer a prank caller. Uh, he is now a boy gamer. But you used to play that game too. So uh, I played it for about three days. Never made it out of the base. Because <laughs> nobody could give me the code to get out of the base. And every time I tried to put the code in, you know, it was the wrong fucking code, I would get shocked. I never got out of the base. That was my extent of playing Rust. And I said, fuck this game. Nobody wanted to teach me how to play it. Nobody would let me out of the base. Wow. Bullshit. Days on end. Guys, what's the code? They give me the fucking code. It wasn't the code. Days this went on. Bullshit. I'd rather go play Town of, uh, Town of Salem or something. Town of Salem, yes. Tom of Salem. Town of Salem or, or even some source, some see a source. Yeah, you people had me by that Town of Salem two weeks ago to play and it was pretty blah. I still play it. I play it on right. my own. I play it on my own. I bullshit people talk shit. But I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing Friday the Thirteenth on the Xbox a lot more lately, just because I like playing as Jason and murdering everyone. I murder them all. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, last night. I drowned a man in a toilet <laughs> as Jason, and uh, I threw another one out of a window. So the uh, the the window jam fucking hit him in the head, and it broke his neck. He died. He got cut up by the glass too. And then uh, I put one motherfucker's head in a fireplace. I stepped on his back. And so his head was in a fire and he was burning to death. And I was like, that's what you get. They're just lucky I don't grab my, find my old ass microphone in the, uh, in the closet and start talking some real shit. Uh -huh. that's how, and then I'd end up with a communication ban. and <laughs> I've already had one of those, so... You did? For what, in, what, in GTA? Or? Uh, yeah, it was through texting. Because this guy had, uh, he'd, he'd done something, but he initiated contact with me. He sent me a message while he was talking shit, but I wasn't going to let him fucking talk shit and one-up me. 
So I was fucking roasting him so bad that the motherfucker actually started to like cry and bitch about it and he went and told on me to Xbox. And I was, so like I could play an Xbox. I'm like, okay, so he initiated contact to me. He started talking all this stuff and just because I got one up on him, I get a communication ban. <laughs> yeah. It's like that was some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was roasting I was roasting real good. I had comebacks for everything he had and like he just started bitches and they leave me alone. I'm like, nah, come on man, you started it. It's like let's keep this going. <laughs> yeah. And uh so I got kicked off for I think it was five days I couldn't communic I couldn't send texts or talk on the Xbox. <laughs> mm. You can still play though at least. Oh I can still play. I was like, big fucking deal. I was like, I was like, I don't even wear the mic when I play. I have everyone muted except my friends. Good evening, Phoenix Chandler Courtyard. This is Myra. How can I help you? This is Karen. How may I help you? Hello? Yes, I'm at the front desk. I'm sorry. Who do you need to talk to? Do you know who you're speaking with? I do not. I'm your boss. This is Karen. Okay. I'm sorry, who do you need to talk to? I'm your boss. And how can I help you? Are you going to be here for work tonight at 11 o'clock? I think you have the wrong number. You're calling a hotel. I'm your boss. I'm at the hotel. Are you going to be here for work tonight at 11 o'clock? You have the wrong number, lady. Huh? This is, I think you have the wrong number. I'm your boss. I'm taking you off the schedule. You're my boss. Okay. I want to find out if you are coming to work tonight. I am at work. You have the wrong number. Is there anything else I can do for you? You will not be working again. Yes, I'm at the front desk. Who do you need to talk to? Rich. Who? Rich. Yeah, you have the wrong number. I'm sorry. Till further notice, I'm taking you off the schedule. Don't bother coming back in. All right. Really? Is it 215? 215? 215. No. Okay, well, I need to let you know. Uh, I, w- I went outside and I made a transaction with an African-American fellow. He was offering me the mejuanas, and uh, I gave him a 20, and the transaction was worth $15. He didn't give me change, $5 change, and so I'm making a, compl- I'm making a complaint. Uh, how do I get my $5 change back? I don't know. You don't know? Morning. Is this like his normal business practices? He do this all the time? I, I this is Rodway Motel, not yeah. business. No, no, the guy out in your parking lot selling the drugs and the marijuanas. He owes me five dollars Ma- change. Like, does I get that from you? Mar marijuana. Marijuanas. He sell it. Uh, he come to my room. He sell it. He said that he's with the hotel. Hold on. Oh, uh, where is he? Let me see. Uh, I'm in my room. I'm in my room. I'm in 215. He knocked on my door. He said he was the door-to-door marijuana salesman, and he brought marijuanas. And I bought fifteen dollars worth of two fifteen, and I bought fifteen dollars worth of marijuanas off of him, and I'm going to smoke it. But he owes me five dollars change. I don't know. He he didn't come here. He what? He's not here. I think. Uh, what he look like? What well, he look like? Black, he, black guy. He, he looked like black. black guy. He wear he wear a hoodie. He, he had iced tea and Skittles. Black guy. He oh, wear. Okay. Yeah, he come to my room. 
and he had a briefcase with him, a Zero Halliburton briefcase, and he said, Hello, I am the local marijuana door-to-door salesman, and he handed me a card. Ooh. Okay. But how do I get my $5 change? You want to call police? No, no. He yep. said he, say he worked for you. I called the number on the card to get my $5 from him, and it, it rang to you. I don't know. I don't know. Just the, go. The number Just on go the, no, 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 the number on the card, it, it rings to you. So you in business with him. No. Oh, we are yes. Not. Oh, we yes. Are, we, we don't do it like that, bro. Oh, yes. <laughs> we don't do like that, bro. You want you want to be from another room and tell them that the marijuana salesman came by? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I said. Yeah, it's down. <laughs> yeah. Please hold. There may be a silence while your call is transferred. Hello? Yeah, hi. Um, I'm, I've, uh, there's some guy just came to my room saying if I wanted to buy some pot. Pot? Yeah. What the? Uh, what's your number? Uh, two something. I'm not sure. I'd have to go outside and look. He's, he's like this? Bruh. Uh, he, uh. Sorry about that. Sorry about just, that. He just left. Uh, yeah, I know. Here. Sorry about that. Well, sorry about he, that. He, uh. He sold oh, right here, right here. I get him. Okay, yeah. Can you come here, please? What's uh, your do number? You, do you have a, a lighter or matches? Yeah. You okay. you have to have come here. I do. Oh, uh, but I want to smoke, you know? Okay. You some by marijuana? Yeah, he some. Yeah. Okay, you have to come here. That's not my business, okay? Okay, but you ha- he's there for the marijuana now? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> he said that he was that you sent him that that you send him every night to see. No, he, he's just lying. He's just lying. So you're dead, buddy. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I guess. Okay. All right. Um, okay. maybe maybe you come and we uh we touch and kiss a little bit, you know? No, no, I well, I don't do anything like that. Oh, do you have sisters? My, yeah, my my family is like Indian. We don't do like that. Bro. Oh, do you have a sister for me for uh, Bancho? You know, bro. You know what? what? Get out. I want to Bancho with your sister. What's your number? Huh? Oh, I don't. But if you're gonna be violent with me, don't get violent with me. No, no. Um, let me, let me get your room number first. Uh, let me get your sister first, and then I'll tell you. You know what? What? I will call police, okay? No. I know. No, Who are you? you I know. No, you don't. You don't know no shit, motherfucker. Bancho, you. You, you bancho. <laughs> Yo. Yes, is this 215? Yeah. Ah, great. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is Blake calling from the front desk, and we're calling to address uh, some issues that we're having. We had housekeeping step in earlier, uh, and they said you were... Uh, possibly taking some of our towels because our towels were unaccounted for and so we wanted to touch base with you about that about what about our towels that are missing sir our hand towels and our regular length yeah. towels that we supply to you uh, housekeeping says that they are missing the amount that were put in your room before you arrived are not the same amount that they picked up that were dirty uh, so we're trying to figure out where those towels are now so you know what time it is, and I gotta get up and go to work in the morning, and I ain't been getting no time. Do you know where our towels are? No. Well, then I don't know what time it is. We need to get this address, sir. Hello? Yeah, listen, you don't need to if be like that. Don't stop, I'm calling the police. Hey, shut up. 
get out of the get out of the hotel room. Pack your stuff and get out the out of our that room. You're disgusting. The way you're treating me, you bitch. Hello. Yeah, is that the prostitute that you brought to have sex with you in the room? What are you talking about? Is that the prostitute that you went to get to bring to the room to fuck in my hotel? Fuck you. You tell her I said fuck you. Oh, 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 oh.